All right, guys, welcome back. We're doing another move here today. Moving a big excavator. This one weighs about 19,000 pounds the way it is right now. It's a 308E cat. And uh, we're moving it out to Bluffdale also, just like we did the Skitcher the other day. This is really nice to have the air ride because loading it on my other trailer, that trailer's moving around all over the place, even if I put blocks under the rear. But this one sits right down on the ground and makes it nice for loading. Anyways, we're going to get on the road and hopefully make this a good trip. i got to get home to the wife and kids. There's some bad storms coming, so got to make this one snappy. All right, our starting coolant temp is 174. Trans temp is 128. You can see boost on the left there. Exhaust back pressure, which is reading barometric pressure, so that's usually around 14, 7, 14, 8 here. So just subtract that from whatever number you see, and that's the uh, actual drive pressure. And again, we got pyro on the left, boost on the left, or pyro on the right, boost on the left, sorry about that, and then fuel pressure in the middle. I'll try to get some good shots of it because we got to go up a few pretty big hills on the way to Bluffdale, so it should be getting pretty warm around 1050, maybe even kiss 1100, so we'll see. 1,000 pound excavator on my 40 foot PJ, and we're just accelerating here. Second gear locked, trying to get y'all some good shots. There's third gear right there can't see it that's 850 EGTs 25 pounds of boost slowly getting out there I'm not in no hurry it's raining today so especially can't be in a hurry there's fifth locked and finally touch 900 950 and gonna touch a thousand still coming up on speed running 1800 rpm so that's why the egt's are a little warm we're under 2000 so i'm just gonna cruise right here at 50. that's what the speed limit is right here so it got up to a thousand and now it's cooling back off so it all the egt's only climb up above a thousand whenever i'm under 1800 rpm um, it seems to want to get hot there but the boost stays high it just likes a little bit more RPM to keep the EGTs down. But when I do that, the boost goes through the roof and I just don't like pushing 50 pounds of boost with this much weight. So <laughs> try to keep it around 40. Seems to pull really good there. And EGTs stay in check. Still makes for a good haul, so. When I get closer to the stoplight up here, I'll show you good photo of it good video of it downshifting this transmission does an awesome job at downshifting it's it's truly amazing here we go we're com coming up to a stop lot it's on a downhill grade I'm in fifth gear now as soon as I tap the brakes it starts to downshift wish I had an exhaust brake but that'll come in the future hopefully I don't know to do an exhaust brake on here I got to do larger valve springs as well so all right here we go we're gonna yield on the traffic here I don't know if you can see the excavator in the mirror pretty dark it's first gear locked second gear locked gear locked fifth gear about 1050 on those EGTs well right out of thousand oh there's 40 pounds thousand degrees and we're at 55 so it'll stay here as long as I keep the throttle in it uh, it'll downshift it'll it'll upshift in the six if I wanted it to right here if I just ease off the throttle a little bit but I'm still coming up the hill and I want to keep the RPMs up so we're just gonna leave it right there all right guys this is the last big hill before we get into Bluffdale we're doing 55 around 2100 RPM maintaining 
40 pounds of boost. EGTs are 1,000, 1050. Running right about 41, 42 PSI fuel pressure. Six, about 16 pounds of intermediate boost between the HX35 and HX55. Drive pressure is around 40 also. There's our RPM, 2200. 186 on the engine temp and 150 on the trans temp. We're about to crest the hill and we just kissed 1100 on the EGTs. Still maintaining 40 pounds, creeping above it every now and then. So. That's about the hardest this truck ever, ever has to work is going to this location with this load. Any other time it's not really that much of a chore but 377 here between Stephenville and Granberries. Pretty good workout for a truck with this much weight. Now we're in sixth gear. Cruising about 60. EGT's around 1,000. Starting to cool off. So. Still raining quite a bit. It's only supposed to get worse. Supposed to get some pretty bad weather tonight. So I'm trying to get this done before it's time. Before it gets real bad. and deleted two of my exit videos I did uh, when I unloaded the excavator and I was going to show you some stuff on the truck but anyways I'm going to go ahead and do it now just for the people who don't know it's a 2004 F350 Dually 4 door it has a 5R110 automatic from the factory I put a 98 12 valve Cummins that's running stock fuel and what I mean by that it's stock injectors stock delivery valves stock timing the only fuel mod that is done to it is a number six fuel plate and 3k governor springs and the governor springs are just to get the transmission to shift better which it did improve that and uh, i absolutely love it it is running the ford lift pump and i'm supplying about 55 to 60 psi at idle and under max throttle about 40 41. Um, anyways i'm going to go ahead and show it to you on the 19,000 pound excavator about 20 miles on 377 it has quite a few six percent and higher grades on it and the truck's still doing running fine no blown head gasket or anything here you can see i'll take the cap off the overflow no pressure full fluid truck sounds good it's dirty i'll tell you what it's dirty i haven't had a chance to clean it i've been working it so much there's the compounds Drive pressure, EGT's right back there on the manifold, big diesel power source air filter which I like, I just need to clean it. There's the twin ram intake and a dual battery holder. Truck's doing awesome, can't complain. I still wish I had a little bit more horsepower but I can't do anything about it till I upgrade that HX35. Blackout, black market performance has a turbo I'm gonna replace it with. It's a 63 millimeter. It's only about 850 bucks. It's got a bigger exhaust side, uh, which is really what I need. And the uh, bigger inducer on the compressor side will also help uh, give me some better horsepower and uh, overdrive. Anyways, that's it for the truck. That's it for the video. Uh, we'll see you next time.